Hi everyone, I am Niharika and I'm back with a grammar lesson. So today we're going to look at the very, very common words uh, used in English uh, almost every day in our conversations is by and until. So we're going to look at the difference. Um, you know, many people get confused uh, and they kind of think that by and until can be used interchangeably. But that's not right. There is a difference and we're going to learn how to use them correctly. So let's first understand the word by. Uh, now the word by is uh, always followed by a specific time. So it's going to be by plus It's always followed by a specific time and uh, not later than. Okay, now let me explain it to you with some examples here. Uh, we have to be home by 5 o'clock. Okay, so you have used the word by uh, and it is followed by a specific time which is 5 o'clock. So we have to be home by 5 o'clock. Now the reason because why you've used by is because either you have to be home by 5 o'clock or earlier than 5 but not later than 5. Okay, if you reach later than 5 then you're late. So that's exactly the reason why we use the word by followed by a specific time. So either you can reach uh, home before 5 or at 5 o'clock but not later than 5. Okay? So not later than 5 o'clock. So when you have to talk about a specific time or a time um, before which you have to get somewhere, then you end up using the word by. Um, now let's understand uh, the word until and then we will look at the other examples. Uh, until is used to talk about a situation that continues. Okay, or the duration, right? Uh, for example, let's wait until it stops raining. So you've used the word until, the reason because uh, you are talking about a situation, it is raining. So you would like to wait until it stops raining. Now in modern English, uh, many people do not use the word until, but instead of using the word until, they use the word till. Okay, uh, so, so for example, let's wait till it stops raining, right? Next example, this milk has to be consumed by 14th of August. So again, you're using the word by because you want to consume or you have to. It, it, maybe it, it, the expiry date of the milk is 14th of August. So you either have to drink or consume the milk before 14th of August or by four or on 14th of August is the last day that you can have or consume that milk, okay? Not later than 14th of August. And that's why you use the word by, right? Uh, another example here for the word until, David will be away until Monday. So here you're using the word until or you can also use the word till uh, to talk about uh, the duration of his trip. So here he will be away until Monday, okay? The next one and the last example, uh, I have to be at the airport by 8.30 p.m. So probably you have a flight, maybe the flight is at 9.30 p.m. and the check-in counter um, shuts by, let's say, 8.30, okay? So I have to be at the airport by 8.30, it means you can either get to the airport before 8.30 or max by 8.30 p.m., but not later than 8.30, okay? Or else you will not be able to take the flight. So that is the reason why we use the word by. And let's have a look at an, another example for using the word until. I stayed in bed 
until late afternoon on Sunday. So here you're talking about the duration. Now Sunday, yes, it's a lazy day and you do like to sleep till late. So we are talking about the duration of our sleep that you slept on Sunday. Okay, so that's why we use the word until. You can also use the word till. I stayed in bed till late afternoon on Sunday, right? Okay, so these are some examples that would help you to understand the difference between the words by and until. But there's another phrase that we use in English is by the time, okay? It's uh, by the time. So let's have a look at some examples using the phrase by the time and how correctly it should be used in English. So here are some examples using the phrase by the time. Now we use this phrase um, for two different situations. One is when something happens, okay? So to understand this, let's look at the example. It's too late to go to the bank now. By the time we get there, it will be closed. So we are using the phrase by the time we get there, it will be closed. So here it means something happens. So basically it talks about the time frame between the time that we go to the bank, okay, until we get there. So the time frame between now till the time we get to the bank, okay, to talk about that time frame, we are using the phrase by the time. So it's too late to go to the bank now. By the time we get there, it will be closed. Okay. Uh, another example, our holiday ends tomorrow. So by the time you get the postcard, I'll be back home. So again, you're using the phrase by the time to talk about the time frame that yes, I will arrive tomorrow, okay, so it means that my holiday ends, so I'll be back home by tomorrow. So the time frame between tomorrow, okay, to the time frame uh, about talking about the postcard that you will receive is the reason why we are using the phrase by the time, okay? So you got it? So when something happens, okay, that is when you use the phrase by the time, okay, talking about the time frame. And then another situation where you can use uh, by the time is when something happened. So it means uh, for the past. So when you talk about uh, the past, okay, that is uh, when you use the phrase by the time. Uh, let's look at the example. I had a lot of work to do last evening okay I'm sorry about that I missed writing do I had a lot of work to do last evening I was very tired by the time I finished it so again we are talking about the time that you spent doing the work okay so of course we are talking about a past situation it means that you had a lot of work to do last evening and you were very tired by the time you finished it so you're talking about the past so that's exactly the reason why you're using the phrase by the time okay so two things this is a very simple phrase and it can be used uh, on everyday basis uh, the first thing to remember is when something happens, okay, when you're talking about the time frame uh, and when something happened to talk about the past, okay, so that is when we use these phrases. Now take a test, so I will know that uh, you know how much you've understood this lesson. Let me know how much did you score and I'll be back with a new lesson. Till then, you take care.